unmistakably, the History Boys were on the up. And for all of us, the next amazing chapter of Burnley Football Club was set to begin. things in life must come to an end. Sean Dash leaving his manager was spot at Burnley, believing he has took Burnley as far as he can, forming a massive hole in the heart of Burnley Football Club. Burnley fans need a saviour. A local lad hears their cries, steps up, Liam Vizzer. This isn't just a lad that wants to continue the job that Sean Dyche has done. It wants to revolutionise it. Reform an ideology. Reform a new tactic system. Reform a brand new Burnley Football Club that will aim to be the next English powerhouse. Welcome lads to the Burnley career mode. Well, well, lads. If there is one video or one series I've been told to do the most since the end of time, it's been the Burn the Career Mode. I started my channel, my first ever FIFA series was the Burn the Career Mode back in Euro 13. I did one back in Euro 14, I think. I did one back in Euro 16. Now it's back and bigger than ever, lads. Make sure to smash like this video as a pumped for the Burn the Career Mode, lads. I want to see two. 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes on this video lads, I know you guys can hit it. Hope you guys did enjoy the little intro. Yo, I was pumped doing the intro man, and it just makes me even more excited for this career mode. I've been waiting for years for EA to finally make career mode a bit more special, to add some more things to it, other than with anything but pre-season tournaments. Like, it doesn't mean anything, but this year they've gone full out, and that's why the Burnley career mode is back, lads. But as you can see on the screen, lads, we've got the manager career, take the reins of your favourite club and control all the managerial and tactical aspects of your squad. John Dyche is gone, mate. Liam Vizzer is in town, and we're going to turn Burnley into... Champions League champions, why not? Let's go do it. That's one click A, so Burnley straight off the bat is there waiting for us. So a four star team, okay, you know what? I'm happy with that. It's been three and a half star for last like for last like three, four FIFA, so I'm happy with that. 35 million in our bank. 35 million, yo, that is mad. Uh, so let's go see what the expectations are like. Domestic success, so it's quite low, I guess there. Probably expecting us to only be just surviving Premier League. We're definitely aspiring to do better than that. Continental success. We're not even in a continental tournament, so that literally means nothing. Um, brand exposure low. Burnley isn't the most prestigious of clubs, so I can kind of understand, but let's... I'm going to go for two on that one. Financial, three. That's probably the most important aspect to make sure that we stay... You know, we stay in control of our finances, that we don't go too out of hand and end up going into debt. Let's go click A. What shows up now? Oh, we can now make our manager. Um, I would rather not look like uh, Roy Hodgson's dad. Let's go for... I feel like... Every Everyone goes for that guy. So I kind of want to switch up and go for, let's go for, let's go for that guy. Why not? And then let's go give him a, oh, shall, shall we go tracksuit? Yeah, let's go tracksuit. Let's go tracksuit this in the house. Right, since when was Storms in the game? So let's go click done and I think that's really it. All right, okay, so we still need to do settings. So we got our difficulty will be legendary. And that's the highest, yeah, legendary is the highest you can possibly do. Let's do five and a half. So let's not make it too long. And then just download the latest things. And that's all we need to do, uh, not disable it. Let's go click advance and let's get into the first episode of the Burnley Criminal Lads. Oh, let's go. It's actually so mad looking back. Like, this was my first ever YouTube series. Oh, my first ever FIFA series. Like, the Burn the Career Mode. And I've been told, like, so many of you guys have been screaming at me doing a Burn the Career Mode for actual months. Not months, years. Like, it's ridiculous, man. So, I hope you guys are pumped, man. I've heard your cries. And 
let's go see how we do here, boys. Let's, even before we get relegated, like, imagine if I get us relegated, that'd be, no, that's just not possible. I don't care how bad I am. I'm not getting Burnley relegated. Season tournament invite. I guess I might as well. Uh, I might as well join one, just get to an, an extra bit of cash, maybe. So, more expensive one. Yeah, that one looks fine. Let's just, let's just do that one. I'm not really that bothered. Oh, swag. There you go. Breaking news. Visa looking for opportunity on an international stage. I literally haven't even been in a club for not even one day. And apparently, I'm already looking to, si to sign for an international team. Our vision and expectations. So, let's go see what I know. So, view objectives. My expectation is to finish mid-table, reach around the 16 of the FA Cup, and also sign one youth player to the senior team. Okay, so that's possible. Brand exposure. Within three seasons, increase season ticket holders with at least a 10%. That, that's easily. That's In three seasons, I'm going to do that in one season. Once I sign, like, I can fend or something. Easy. Financial. Within two seasons, increase the club worth of your club to buy 50. Mate, that's easy. That is easy, that, mate. I'm the, I'm perfect for the job, man. We'll see where we're at next season, and we're definitely going to be in Europa League. Minimum. Yo, I don't care. Even on Legendary. I mean, I've only played, like, one game of actual FIFA 18 with the actual early access, so... I don't really like it at all. Jesus Christ, we actually have 35 million to spend. Like, usually we get given like 15 million, so 35 for Burnley is ridiculous, man. However, let's go look at our team. So, this is a squad shown up. So, we're already in a 4 2 3 1 formation wide. Brady Goodman, so we got Vox on top. Um, have you got, we got, a, we got Chris Wood somewhere, right? Where's Chris Wood? Uh, maybe at bottom. EA? Gosh, I've, I've missed him out. Chris Wood, there he is. So we've got Chris Wood, we've got Wells, so we've got a bit of pace in there as well. I don't know what to aim at. Well, actually, first things first. D Marnie. Um, um, sorry, Hendrick, mate. Put turn. Let's put the four there. Yeah, sorry, Hendrick, there, mate. D Marnie is in the squad. First things first. Put put down the law in his team. This is Visit on the, the helm here. So, D Marnie, first name on team sheet. It has to happen. I don't care if I've got Pogba in my team. D Marnie is going first. Wait, squad hub? What's this? Squad hub? No. Oh, mate, that's... Okay, that's... Wait, does it do, does it do for everyone? Oh, my God, wait. Wait, where's Dean? Where's Dean Morning? Where's Dean Morning? I think I've just climaxed. Look at him. This is the best FIFA ever. Lock offers. No one's touching my Dean Morning. Contract is in 12 months. First things first, I know what I need to do. Contract negotiation. Oh, my God, I'm going to cutscene. Okay, so this is this is a new thing. Oh my god, that's that's me apparently. Welcome. Wait, where is he? Oh my god, there he is. It's D Marnie. We're getting D Marnie a new contract straight away. What is saying? Great, that's what we're hoping for. Yes, come on, D Marnie. Length of contract, five years. No one touch my D Marnie. Five years. Let's see what he say about that. He isn't happy. He's lucky to sign a one year deal. Dean, don't do this. Dean, I guess I've just got to accept what he wants. It looks like he only wants a one year deal. I wanted to keep him forever, but. He looks like he wasn't meant to be. Uh, so, okay, moving on. We want to discuss wages. Okay. He's currently on 30 grand a year. He wants 38 grand. So, I'm happy with that. I just want D-Morny to remain in my club. Let's go. Look at that face. Look at that face. That's a man now knows where he's at. D-Morny, welcome back. For, well, he's already, he's already at Burnley. Welcome back to another year of Burnley Football Club. He's got a new contract. That's the Burnley Criminal done. Like, well, thank you for watching the first episode. Um, We've no more episodes. I've just completed career mode. Sick. Well, those are the new cutscenes if you guys are not aware already. So let's go quick advance and yeah, lads, welcome to the first episode of the Burnley Cream Mod. Dean Marnie, that's all you really need to know. Now, the next thing I need to do as a manager of Burnley Football Club is try to sign back Danny Ings. Now, I may only be on a loan. We're going to see how much they want. He's a top player. He's kind of fell down the pecking order down at Liverpool and everyone in Burnley loves him. So let's go see how much they want. So let's go approach the buy and see how this goes, boys. Oh yeah, I saw Jurgen Klopp. Jack Cook got Ben Mee's shirts in background. I rate that. I rate that game. Let's offer transfer fee. So how much will Dennings be worth? Now, we didn't actually check how much he should be worth. So I'm going to put down 10 mil and I'm going to see what he says back in before he just gets pissed off and leaves the room. But we're going to see what he says. We're going to see what happens here. So, and he goes for, we're getting closer. 10.4 mil. Okay. You know what? I'm happy with that 10.4 mil. 10.4 mil for a solid striker. Got a bit of pace to him. Now, of course, I do want to keep the screen mode like quite realistic, not not sign like Wonder Kids from Saudi Arabia or something. Like I want to keep this like realistic. So Danny Ings, we will link to him in the summer. So to keep it kind of realistic, let's go quick accept and bring Danny Ings back to Burn. Yo, show hands, the deal is done. Now I think next thing is gonna be to actually meet Danny Ings and get the wages done. So I think if you click this, negotiate. Okay, so we should get into the next cutscene, which we are. Kind of weird how like we've done the transfer fee and also the wage like interview. In not in just one day. But there's Dennings right there. Welcome back to Burnley, son. Let's go get you back home, dude. Okay, look at that face. What a sexy bastard. Ooh, four-year deal. Mate, took the words out of my mouth. I'm happy. Yeah. Four-year deal for Danny Ings. 
bring him back up. Oh, okay, what is wage going to be? Am I going to offer it first? I think I'm going to offer it first. I don't know how much. Team money was 38 grand. So, in reality, he just came from Liverpool, though. So, I don't really know what I'm doing there. I don't know if I'm going to bargain it. Actually, let's, let's go over 1.25 because I'm open like that. Pressure on me here. I don't know what his wage is at Liverpool already. So, I don't know if chances are this may be a massive, like, decrease for him. So, let's just see what he said. 56 grand a week. That's not bad. I may be able to lower that down. He wants a bonus of when he scores 15 goals of 1.8 mil. I'm fine with that. Because I'm okay, I'm gonna put his wage down to like 55 mil just because why not. Let's go here back and oh no, they're not happy with that. If they really want that 56 grand with that 1k. And that probably that probably extra thousand is probably gonna be for some more strippers. So I understand that company. You know what? I'm just gonna accept that and that should be the deal all done. Danny Yings is coming back to Burnley Football Club. Danny Yings lad. Welcome home. Welcome back. And just like that, lads, Danny Ings is there back in a Burnley shirt. Welcome back home, son. And that is our first transfer of the Burnley Cream, all lads. Okay, so we're going to match in the international tournament thing. Let's go sim it because I really don't care about it. I want to wait until the first game of the season uh, in Premier League to then play. Let's go see what the score is in this game. But let's go skip and a 4 1 win. Cork, the 4 Wolves, and all three of the goals. Okay, so I'm found out. Ayo, transfer off of a James Tarkowski from Crystal Palace. 5.7 million. Um, like in our centre back department, especially now with Michael Keane gone, we can't really get rid of centre back. So I think I now need to negotiate here. Oh my days, Roy Hudson is in the game. Jesus Christ, that was quick. Roy Hudson is in Burnley. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to leave as soon as possible. For me to sell him and bring a player that is probably just as good or will help me. I'm gonna for 12.5 mil and see what he says. Chances are he's probably gonna tell me to piss off, but honestly, I wanted to piss off. So let's go submit offer. He said 6.2 mil. Reject. No. Get get out, get out of my office. Get out of my office. Yeah, look at your face. Like, man, get out of my office. Then, then that's more like it. The cheek of that. I doubled it pretty much. And he literally just upped it up by 500 grand. Do I look like a muck? So, Danny Ings is now in the squad. So, he's in fact 76 rated. They're most likely going to be ended up with Chris Wood and Danny Ings on top. I'm using a 4 4 2 because this is like the typical Burnley formation. So, I want to try and keep it as realistic as possible. Maybe later on, I may change the formation depending on who we sign or who we lose. So, right now, 4 4 2. Okay, so we have a next game up against Sporting in the European Shield. So, I don't really know what to expect here. So, I'm going to skip this and maybe hope for a draw. And it's going to end. 2-2, two, two. did 42 goals, but he has ended up being injured. That's typical, that. How much is he out for? He's out for five weeks. Stephen DeFoe is out for five weeks, man. We're literally nine days in, and I've already been... Oh, this is so annoying. It's Steve Morty time. Steve Morty, yeah, you're now in the squad. You, you kind of been forced into it, to be honest. Welcome back. But I've looked at the squad, and one position I really don't upgrade in the game and in real life is the winger position. So two wingers that Burnley was heavily linked with in the summer was Guziki and Aaron Lennon. Now, Lennon is only 30 years old and he's only got one year left in his contract. And Guziki, I think he literally just signed like a year ago. So he may be worth a bit more. Oh. Oh, well, it looks like we can't even get Kuziki anyway. Okay, never mind. So, Aaron Lennon it is. Let's go approach the buy. Now, he's only got 12 months left in his contract, plus he's 30 years old. But he does have some pace to him, and he has something that Burnley doesn't have, which is pace. So, let's go approach the buy and see how this goes, boys. I'm going to offer a 5 million offer, but he's got 12 months left, and he doesn't really play. I, don't, I think he's fell down the pecking order a bit. So, I'm going to offer 5 million and just see what he says. He's saying 6.3. Okay, so that, that that sounds quite reasonable. 6.3 million. I think for what he has, which he does have pace, he's only 30 years old, so he's not going to decrease massively until like another two seasons. So 6.3 million for Aaron Lennon, a player that we've been linked with a lot. That's quite a realistic signing. I'm happy with that. So with that done, now it's time to get into the wages. Here we go. Welcome to Burnley, Aaron Lennon, mate. Enjoy the Holland's pies. So he wants to be crucial straight away. The worst part is, I don't actually know what his rating really is. I think he's going to be he's gonna be like a 78, 77, so... Crucial, he will be getting played. He will be my first choice right mid. So let's go accept that. He's happy. Two years. Two year contract. He's only 30 years old. I'm happy with that as well. And next thing is wage. This could be an issue. I've, I haven't got that much left. I'm setting the initial wage. So I'm going to give him. Same thing to what I did to Danny Ings. Offer 40 mil. Offer maybe 1.25. Um, I think it's probably a similar rate to, to Danny Ings. So, let's go see what he says. Oh, so he's increased his wage to 59. He's lowered down his goals, though. He's lowered... Well, five five goals, he gets almost one mil. Um, let's go lower down his wage a bit. Let's give him 55 mil. And in return, offer him more... F more... So and he's, he wants 59 mil. Why are all these players so, like, strict? Like, what's the extra 4k for? Another Playboy Mansion. Oh, you know what? I mean, I can't be bothered. Just accept it. It's rate. We've got we got more than enough money to get some more players in if we need to. He looks happy. You're going you're gonna to enjoy it. You're going you're gonna to enjoy it, Burnley, mate. We've got a Gala Bingo. We've got a 
bunnies, we've got fish and chips. You're gonna love it. So there we go, our second signing of the Burner Kumo lads, Danny Ings, and then up next, Aaron Lennon. He looks nice in that Burner shirt. The number seven shirt as well, taking place with Andre Gray and Apple that. What rating even is he? So 77 rated, and how much pace does he have? He has how much pace? 84 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, 91 agility though, so that's really nice. He's gonna be our main right mid, so I think that's not that bad. That's what for Scott Offy. Kotiba? Who is Kotiba? Talk about realism, a Brazilian club. I think that's a Brazilian club, if I'm, if I'm not being stupid. One Scott Arfield. 3.3 <laughs> more. Two I love Scott Arfield a bit so, so I kind of don't want to let him go. Keep that in mind, he will nowhere near be our main winger or centre mid. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to offer them 5 mil. Why is a team from Brazil offered for Scott Arfield? He's got no pace, really no flair. <laughs> I don't know what he wants. Let's offer them 5 mil and see what he says. They're staying put. That, this is our final offer. That's your final offer. No, 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 there's no way. That is not your final offer. 3.3 million and one pence. There is no way in hell they will not accept this. To me, offer, there's no way that they are not going to accept it when it's one pence extra. Let's hear it back. We hope, we were hoping, oh my God, he's actually, it's far too high. It's one P more. <laughs> Oh my god, I've literally offered him one pence more. Well, it looks like Scott Arfield is remaining in Burnley Football Club for one more. Okay, so similar the last group stage match, I think that we are going to go through no matter what. Let's just see what happens. So, Burnley to Hamburg, Lennon making his first team. Let's go skip it and see if... Oh, Sam Volk with two. Happy days. Maybe a three? They have made it three. Scott Arfield of all people also getting the goal as well. Now teach those Brazilian bastards. Wait, tournament prize money? No, tournament prize money. How much? 1.4 mil? Money. We are in the semi-finals against Lokomotiv Moscow. We should win this. We should win this, especially with our team now. So let's go click skip and we are in 5-0. Brady of all people, our left midfielder getting a hat-trick. Danny is getting two more goals. That's what I want to see, lads. So we're into the final now. So who are we playing against in the final? Let's not be something like sick. Come on, it's going to be, oh, Sporting Lisbon. We literally had these guys in our group. What? Oh, wait, wait, transfer offer of Matthew Loughton. 6.2 million from Southampton. That's not a bad offer. Now, our current backup for Matthew Loughton is, in fact, Phil Barsley, which is, he's, you know, he's quite slow. I'm going to go for 7.5 million and see what they say back. Buffet is current value is 5.5 mil. So, they've, in fact, gone already higher than his actual value. And they're going to say... We don't want it to fall through, so we're willing to pay the 7.5 million. Oh, our first sale of the Burner Career Mode, and it looks like it's Matthew Loughton. Now, there's 32 good wages uh, in the talks, but Matthew Loughton for 7.5 million, 76 overall. I didn't actually expect that to actually happen. Oh, so the final of the tournament is here, lads, of the European Shield against Sporting Liz. But hopefully, we can start off the Career Mode with a bit of sale. Hold. Let's go. So, I'm not going to play this because I'm really not that bothered, to be honest. But if we do win, we do get 6 million. So, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Let's go hope for the best. So, we're one now. we one now down in three minutes. Oh no, we're one now down already. Okay, let's um, Danny Ings. Like, can you uh, can you score? Like, maybe Brady. He's got a hat trick. He's, he's, he's got a hat trick last game. Doom, you makes it two 0 We're actually gonna lose. We've actually lost, haven't we? Ten minutes to go. Five. Oh well, um, I didn't need that six million anyway. Well, lads, that is the first episode of the Burnley Crimo, lads. We made two signings already with Aaron Lennon and also Danny Yings. Let me know down below in the comments. I want to see so many comments down below, lads, of who else I should sign. With this Lauter signing potentially happening, I've got about 25 million to mess around with still, and I can probably sell more players if need be. So let me know down below in the comments, because I've still got like over a month to go until the window shuts. So I hope you guys did enjoy. The Burnley career mode is back. So smash that if you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys for episode two in a few days. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Bazaar. See you next time.